guys, it's Nick here from MicroIphone.com and today we're going to bring you a video on code themes. Now you know we've done videos on code themes in the past and actually this is a pretty exciting video for you guys out there that might have used uh, code themes in the past or have an account at least. Basically code themes if you don't know already is a site where you can build your own winterboard themes so you can change the wallpapers, all the icons and everything like that and it was just a really easy way if you didn't like to mess around with all the files and everything yourself you can just do it straight on this website which is a really cool idea so code themes has been really successful and they're now actually upgrading it or upgrading their theme builder so to, so to speak so basically they are going to release builder version 2 um, so obviously version 1 if I just bring it up real quick just to show you what the difference is between the two I think this should work. I hope it works. Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> sign in real quick. Okay, so this is the uh, builder from this is version one. This is the builder, and you can see the difference between this and the new one, which they are gonna release very soon. It's actually gonna be re released on the tenth of this month, so stay tuned for that. Um, it will be up and running on the temp so that's going to be really cool so this is version one as you can see it was a bit everything everything's everywhere and everything like that so with this new builder it's a lot more cleaner it's a lot more stylish a lot more modern everything like that you have the new device as you can see you have an iphone 4 here whereas from here it's an iphone 3gs so everything's updated everything's new which is a really nice feature so let me just take you through the actual features of this now i at the moment as a beta tester or a look at to review um, you can only see the home screen but obviously they're going to have features for the lock screen as you can see up here which is a tab which this is un this is not going to be available till the release on the 10th of the 10th of the 10th and then obviously there's a status bar up here as well and extras tab so the things I can show you which is the home screen so now which is really nice about this new builder is it has collapsible boxes which is going to provide more space um, when you are changing everything around so if we just open up icons as you can see it has a nice drop down menu and obviously you can scroll through the icons you want or you could simply add in your own icon okay so to, to say I want to change an icon you just click on the one you want so we're going to change messages as you can see right here now before you'd have to drag it in and you can still do that but another nice new feature of this is you can just click on the icon you want and it will change it automatically without having to drag so you have the two options there which one you want to choose from so you can also upload your own one again that feature is not going to be available until the actual full release but you will be able to upload your own images your own icons and anything else you might have made so we can go back and you can do it for any of the icons you want so we'd say I wanted to change the compass as you can see right there it's changed and um, we can go back and we can change some more, I can change the app store if I want you can see it's just real quick, very simple no lag at all, it's really nicely made okay so that's pretty much the icons, also you will have a option to rotate the icons which is new in this new um, new builder so you can rotate them whichever way you want as you can see really nicely animation, animated as you rotate the icons as you can see on the emulator and the emulator guys just to let you guys know it is rebuilt from scratch so they didn't take anything from this one they've rebuilt it completely and made it a lot better to use in this new theme builder version 2 so that's that also you can obviously add your background so if we go to browse and we can add backgrounds now they also have video backgrounds which is new um, that wasn't on the first code theme builder but say I wanted a wallpaper I click on it I click set and then I have the options like on the iPhone or the iPod Touch to set as lock screen, home screen or both. So I'm just going to set as home screen. And now which is really nice, you can actually choose to how which pages you want to have that wallpaper on. So technically you could have a wallpaper, a different wallpaper for every page. So I'm just going to have that checked as one and uncheck every other page. And we're just going to apply. Now as you can see, really smooth action. It changes the wallpaper very nicely. Now if I was to go to the next page you can see the wallpaper is different. So if I want to change that wallpaper to say 
Okay, so now I have a video wallpaper, as you can see, which works really smoothly. Now you can see on the first page, I still have the wallpaper I set. So it works with either normal wallpapers or obviously you can use it with a video wallpaper as well. So that's really nice. And obviously, um, and also a new feature is when you scroll down, it will just automatically load more wallpapers. Before you had to click a box and it would load more. If I just show you, um, you can go down, you can see, see load 25 more. That's no longer there, it just loads automatically, which is a really nice feature. So we can also look at docs now. You can change the docs like before. Again, you can scroll down and look through the best docs and it automatically loads up. And when you find one you like, you click it and it changes it straight away and it looks really nice and it works really smoothly. So that's that. We can also look at label styles. So you can have the undocked, docked and calendar. And obviously you can change the fonts and the size, which is a really nice, nice feature. And so you just wanted to change the, the font. And obviously the colours and everything. It's just gonna give you a lot more uh, choice in what you want. So once you're happy, you can obviously click off. So that's pretty much the builder guys. As I said, this is only the first uh, like sort of beta stage of it. When it's actually fully released, you have every feature that you will see on the screen right now. But obviously I can't access them because it's saying they're waiting until it's fully released. But just wanted to show you, bring this, we, we are big fans of Code Themed. And um, we wanted to bring you this video to show you that version two of the builder is coming very, very shortly. So that's pretty much it. I'm not sure what else I can show you. You can obviously randomize your theme, which is obviously there before you can save your changes so if you don't have a jailbreak currently out you can save it and then obviously you'll be able to download you'll be able to upload a Cydia and everything like that so this is just a first look at the code themed version 2 of the theme builder and I think it's a much much better theme builder than this one the version 1 it's a big improvement so big props to the guys over there I have the Twitter links and everything in the description the website everything like that you will have to sign up but it's a great site, guys, if you're into making themes. Definitely take a look at this if you haven't before. So that's it, guys. First look. And let me know any comments down below or what you think of it. And that's about it, guys. I'll catch you guys real soon. It's Nick here from MigrantIphon.com. And I'll thank you all for watching.